Are you looking for a budget smartphone that works decently well? If so, then continue watching as we review the new Alcatel Tetra. This version of the Alcatel Tetra is exclusive to AT&T prepaid and sells for $49.99. The device features 4G LTE connectivity, a MediaTek MT6739WM processor, 2GB of RAM, 16GB of internal storage, and has support for microSD card expansion. In addition, the device features a 5-inch 480x854 resolution display a 5 megapixel camera on the rear, and a 2 megapixel camera on the front. There's also a 2050 milliamp hour removable battery. Now there's really nothing that makes this device worth buying over its competition besides the price. And at $49.99, you're not going to find too many other smartphones that can beat that. In the box, we have a variety of items including the wall adapter for charging, the micro USB cord, quick start guides, and the actual Alcatel Tetra itself. The actual phone itself looks like a budget device. The display is a low resolution and it features off-screen navigation buttons. While the display is a lower resolution, it's still usable and I wouldn't consider it to be a deal breaker, but rather a compromise that you will have to make since the price of the Alcatel Tetra is so low. On the left side of the device we have nothing. On the right side we have the volume rocker and the power button. On the top we have the noise cancelling microphone. On the bottom we have the 3.5mm headphone jack and micro USB port. On the back we have the 5 megapixel camera, the flash and the speaker, and to access the SIM card slot, micro SD card slot, and battery, you must remove the back of the phone. Now just a heads up, it's actually really difficult to remove the back of the phone, and when I was trying to remove the back of the phone, I unintentionally caused some cosmetic damage to the device, so that's kind of ridiculous. The device comes with a considerable amount of bloatware and pre-installed apps. What's weird too is that as soon as I connected the device to my Wi-Fi network, a bunch of random apps started installing. Now thankfully, you can remove all of those unwanted apps. The device works decently well for watching YouTube videos and playing games. I was able to play some lighter games like Temple Run, but I avoided even trying to play more demanding games like PUBG on this device because I know that it won't be able to handle it. A nice surprise with the Alcatel Tetra though is that it does come with Android 8.0 Oreo pre-installed. I was surprised to see that the cameras on this device were able to take some decent pictures. Photos and videos that are taken on the Alcatel Tetra aren't going to be anywhere near as good as the iPhone, but I liked that the video stabilization was solid, and the photos that this device took are actually usable. Call quality was also good with the Alcatel Tetra. In conclusion, there are a lot of compromises with the Alcatel Tetra, and this is truly an entry-level device. I'm not sure if I can recommend it unless you seriously can't afford anything more expensive, and if you must buy a phone for $49.99, then this device will work and you will survive, but you will be stuck dealing with a very slow and underpowered device. It will be fine though for basic tasks like making calls and sending text messages. Now I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out the other videos on my channel, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.